And there's so many moments that really stand out, and they're all sort of when most of them are small. Like most of them are um, like when a kid who really we were just talking about this morning that some of the girls when they first started the school didn't talk like we're so shut down we're so shy we're so not at all confident and then to see them today and to see them kind of barreling through the halls and they have a million things to say I kind of when I see that that's like a huge success for me there are moments when like kind of it's the end of the day and everyone's left and like I'm locking up and just to see like all of these buildings that didn't exist and this really bright like fun colored school where you walk into it and it's not like any other school that you're going to walk into in Kenya and just that energy I think feels like a, a success What we're trying to do is take a school for girls and then attach all of these other services to the school that people really value. So that a school for girls starts to be seen as a very, very attractive commodity because through the school for girls there's this health clinic, there's clean water, there are toilets, there are all these other things that are that are associated with the school. So it hopefully in the end places value on, on girls, on girls' education and, and, and on women in the community as a whole. So I think like, what's really driving our model is uh, this desire to combat extreme poverty and gender inequality. And I think we really see those two things as very interconnected. That in communities where there is greater gender inequality, there is also poverty. Because women are so central to development, to the family, and that when women are educated, that, first of all, does amazing things for, of course, that woman and her family, but there's also been so many studies that show that even in areas where there are more educated women, under five mortality drops significantly. Living conditions and health indicators and poverty conditions are just, are much, are much better. I see a place of hope where people can come and feel that they own it, you know? In 10, in ten years to come, I think there'll be, <laughs> there'll be just, there'll be more than this. There'll be three of these kind of things somewhere else. And all over, we are trying to spread all over Kenya. And my dream is to, is Africa, to see. And I'm not just going anywhere. I go places where there are really slums, because I, I feel I understand the struggles of the informal settlement. So I think 10 years to come, this will be the main site that people will come to study and to see how this, the same thing can be done somewhere else. So we are not, right now we are working hard to ensure if really our model can work. If it can work, this is just an example as a start. So that's why I'm putting much energy here because I know this, is the, this will be the source of the future.